I invite all the rest of you to turn them on. Good morning on Thursday, April 13th. This is a B day. These are your announcements. But before we start them, let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, <clears throat> today's a B day as previously stated. The Knitting and Crochet Club is going to be meeting in Miss Fan's room today after school at 4.30. The women's golf results. I got results for them. I haven't gotten results this year in a while. The ladies' varsity golf team had an amazing showing at the quad at Gardner on Tuesday. Our team placed with the second best score um, this year among all Class 4A golf teams in Iowa with a 163. Wash defeated Waterloo West, Iowa City Liberty, and Hempstead by more than 30 strokes. That's a lot. Wow. Wash had the five lowest scores uh, in the meet, led by our medalists, Jane Peterson, Maya Messinger. Uh, and then we also had Lily Bell Barker and uh, Mackenzie Parks, plus Lydia Nichols, post great scores. And our other co-captain we have is uh, Hannah Hurd with a 55. So our Warriors are 5-2 and two in the season, and they have a senior day triangular at Gardner against Jefferson and City High on Thursday. So congratulations to our ladies. Uh, we've been reading this announcement. It's important. Uh, students, don't forget to register for the Academy Summer Program. It'll be at Mount Mercy University. It's for high school students 9 through 12, and they offer a culturally specific curriculum enriched by seminars, films, and speakers. And you can see Ms. Chandler in the office if you want registration information for it. This is for any student who's interested in kind of enriching their experience. It's targeted for our African-American students. So for our, for our black students, really strongly consider this opportunity is unique. Um, and uh, you can even get a free trip out of the deal. Jamnesty is gonna be Friday in the little theater, seven o'clock. $5 at the door. Senior Rec Night, uh, the advertisement for that's been up in the Google Classroom for a while. Emails in your inbox for our seniors, again, from Ms. Green, make sure you've checked that out. We have that Middle Eastern culture event on the 19th in the lunchroom. We've been reading that for a while, so it's 4.30 to 6.30. Forest Drive Improv Company is gonna have their event tonight, so make sure you stop by. Remember Isaac West and Harrison Ginsburg are the people to see for questions there. If you've ordered your caps and gowns, seniors, and haven't picked them up, they are in the activities office, and prom guest forms are still due on the 24th. So you've got 11 days now. College visits, we've got Upper Iowa coming in at 10 o'clock today in the counseling office. Now, before I go over today's events, we go over the Warriors of the Week. The first of which, I think I see the corner of his head. He's in the cafeteria, and that would be Mr. Avery McBride. Mr. McBride has joined our school this year. Um, and he's been an impact player in our study hall. Um, I think everybody knows that having an hour and a half off, quote unquote, from academic learning is a challenge. And some students have three hours in a day. And Mr. McBride is tasked with trying to help those students and all others, uh, I don't know, have a conducive to learning environment. Uh, and he's done it with, uh, with a lot of grace, patience, positivity, um, some proactivity. And, uh, and, and getting to know students. So Mr. McBride, just thank you for all you do uh, to give students a place to go when they are not in an academic learning environment um, and making it an environment where they can actually still be academically focused. So thank you for that, Mr. McBride. And then our second person is in the top left corner of my screen. Uh, that would be our social media darling, Mr. Sloma. Uh, Mr. Sloma is an awesome teacher who uh, really does not mind challenging kids' mindset. I mean, I've had the luxury of sitting in on his class and, and seeing him challenge students with uh, tonality, uh, with the deeper messaging and meaning behind the text that he reads. And he's always looking for things that are going to be both reflective of our demographic as a school and challenging students so that they're all gonna be pushed to think harder than they want. A uh, common thing I hear from students who have Mr. Sloan is they're mentally full when they get done with this class. And that's that's what we want. So Excelsior to you, Mr. Sloma, for all you do every day for your kids. Thank you. Uh, all right, birthdays. We've got Abigail Jones and Villa Aaron today. So happy birthday to those two students. And we have no staff birthdays. Today's events, we've got a girls varsity meet 
at Gardner. Um, we have, and that's the senior day thing. We've got tennis, which is a girls varsity match. Everything's a little blurry on this thing. It's really kind of blurry, but I'm going to do my best. It's right here at Wash. That's for our ladies, which means our gentlemen will be in action at Waterloo West. And let's see here. We've got track and field, boys varsity invitational. That'll be at um, Hem Senior High School, and it's versus Hempstead specifically. Our ladies are in soccer action versus Mount Vernon in Mount Vernon. Our boys have a J1, JV1 match versus Kennedy at Kingston. And then that's followed up with a varsity match at 7.30 versus Kennedy and both. We've gone over birthdays, so that takes us to the fast finish of our lunch, which includes the chicken Philly, the spicy chicken sandwich, the supreme pizza, the buffalo chicken pizza, and the chef salad. And our sides include fresh mandarin oranges, cinnamon apple cups, roasted chickpeas, and corn. Now that concludes your announcements for today. Hopefully you have a great rest of the day. And as we like to do when we sign off, don't forget, it's always a great day to be a warrior. I'll see you all later.